hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all um first i want to say happy monday y'all i hope everybody's having a wonderful day please stay safe out here in these streets y'all okay um I want to talk about XXX, and I want to do an update on Shaq, and I want to do an update on India, too, y'all. And Lil Dirk. I have to. I have to, because I found out some information that I did not know about them. So I have to do an update on them. But we're going to start off with XXX. May he rest in peace. Um, The jury on Monday, y'all, convicted the three men accused of taking XXX out in Florida, in 2018 following more than a week of deliberations i don't even see why i took a week of deliberations y'all for this one i really don't they should have been 20 minutes top okay um so i guess allegedly drake slips again slips through the cracks again okay y'all um they wouldn't even let any information about drake in nothing they wouldn't even take in consideration anything about what 600 breezy was saying none of that stuff y'all okay so these are the crash jump dummies that um is taking the fall the three the three crash dummies that's going to take the fall is uh dedrick williams 26 year old trayvon newson and michael boatwright okay one is 24 one is 28 one is 26 okay they were all found guilty of first-degree demise and armed robbery in Broward County Court. Okay, y'all? I wonder, is they wishing they could take that day back and get this man his life back? Was that 50000 plus whatever they got paid, you know, that bag that was dropped on him? Um, I wonder, was it worth them spending the rest of their lives in prison, y'all? Because word on the street is, okay? This is what they're saying. All three men are scheduled to return to court on April the 6th for a sentencing hearing. But they're saying the first degree demise charge comes with life sentences, y'all. So I, all three of these guys are about to spend the rest of their lives in prison. But something's so stupid. Robbing somebody and lining them up because it wasn't about just the robbery we all know this okay but we have to say alleged so we'll say alleged but they are the crash dummies just like you know um Kewan white and Devin brown just like their crash dummies for um mo 3s case um we all know that somebody else dropped that bag and when are they going to start being held accountable for it y'all ask yourself this question why is so many rappers especially the ones that, you know, have ranking rappers that's making a little money and stuff. How are they not trapped now? I don't want y'all to get it mixed up now, okay? Because they hanging on by a thread, okay? I don't know that y'all noticed that um, Future brought um, Yellow Beezy out on stage, y'all. And the only thing that he could do was sing That's On Me, Baby, once again, y'all. Don't he know when people's tired, is sick and tired of hearing the same song? How many years has it been since That's On Me, Baby came out? Okay? So Future is calling himself trying to help him out, y'all. Do y'all see how they trying to take these lames by the hand and messing up their own self by trying to bring them out on the stage just to get him a look? Y'all? Lord have mercy. Y'all better stop messing up y'all ticket sales. Bringing them lames out on the stage. You have to. Okay? Y'all cannot support y'all. These rappers that's out here that's doing it, you know, doing it on their own right now. Stop supporting these lames. Trying to bring them out singing these old songs that people don't want to hear no more. They tired of this on me, baby. They tired of it. But that's what just happened, y'all. Future brought him out on stage trying to give him a little clout. He trying, I told y'all, he's trying his best to get put back out here. But don't nobody want to hear them. 
Nobody wants to hear Trap. Nobody wants to hear Yellow Beezy. They don't. After what they did to Mo3, don't nobody care. Nobody cares. What they put out, nobody cares. So, um, back to XXX. May he rest in peace once again. Um, he's going to get some justice for the, you know, the trigger man, y'all. He's going to get some justice for the trigger man. But he's not getting justice for who dropped the bag on him. And it's a shame that there have been so many cases out here of people that, um, of other races that, you know, having problems with somebody and they'll leave a note and say, you know, if something happens to me, this person has something to do with it. And they take that note and they use that in court. And they didn't. They act as if they cared about, you know, XXX, but at the same time, they act like they didn't. Because if this man put out, you know, footage saying, or whatever he put out, posts, whatever, saying that, you know, him and Drake was beefing, and if something happened to him, they the ones that lined him up, you know, they should have took that in consideration. I don't care what nobody say, okay? I'm just saying, y'all, okay? But anyway, um, that's a good thing. They, they got them. At least they out the way, okay? At least they're go. Now, let's get to Shaq, y'all. Shaq, um, I put a video out this morning. And for the slow people that came in my comment section saying, you don't know what you're talking about. First of all, I said that he did not, you know, release any information at the time. He put the picture out saying that, you know, what he was in there for. And I did say that, um, could it have, could it been from stress? Or could it have been from his legs even out on him? I was half right. <laughs> I was half right. Oh, Lord. I was half right, y'all, okay? Um, he probably both. He probably all of the above, okay, y'all? But anyway, um, they're saying that he had knee surgery, y'all. This is what they're saying about Shaq, that he is having knee surgery. I thought he had knee surgery already. So th is this the second knee surgery that he's gone through? But anyway, because when somebody told me that he had knee surgery, I was like, oh, they lying because he had knee surgery some years ago. But I guess he having another knee surgery. Okay, y'all? But um, he's still hiding from the people. Word on the street. And I got that from news, you know, from news outlets. Not from, you know, on YouTube. I got that from news outlets. That he's running from the people, y'all. That, you know, all of this, you know, crypto stuff. So, no, wasn't nobody lying. Okay? So, go, you know, take that up with the news outlets that are putting it out. Not me. Okay? Do that for me. But anyway, they're saying that he's doing better and he is, you know, um, healing and all that good stuff from the surgery. So that's what's going on with Shaq, okay? His body is too big for them legs. Them knees can't handle it, y'all. They can't handle it. You can only carry so much weight before they start to giving out on you. So you got to, you know, you have to take care of yourselves, okay, y'all? Um, and take care of your health. You really do. Now, let's get to a little dirt real quick before I end this video in India, okay, y'all? Because I found out some little information that I did not know, y'all. So, I'm glad that, you know, people came in my comment section and let me know what's really going on. Now, on one hand, people were saying that um, Lil Dirt and India are still together, y'all. But they ain't letting people know about it, okay? This is on one hand. This is what people are saying. That that's all a front. They front like they ain't together, but they really still are. Okay? Now, on the other hand, somebody else said that, oh, that's it's over with. That ain't nothing happening now. Okay? She has moved on with her life, and, um, you know, he needs to do the same thing. And a lot of people is saying that she needs to do this because of the fact of what he did. Now, when I put that video out, I told y'all I didn't know what he did. Okay? I heard some rumors that he cheated on her, but I didn't know for sure. Now it's coming to light. People are saying that Lil Dirt cheated on her. Now, only thing I knew about him in India that, you know, they was out here like bunny and clad. Okay, y'all. And the second thing was that they were, they were engaged. And now people are telling me that he went and got somebody else preggers, y'all. Well, he was in, how, how, how do they do this? How do these guys feel that they can do stuff like this, y'all. Do they just feel like they got money and they can just run over females? I'm just saying. Okay? So you ask India to marry you. And at the same time you ask India to marry you. Let me get this right, y'all. He was out mingling and tingling with somebody else and got them preggers while he's acting asking another woman to marry him? Make it make sense. No wonder she broke up with him. 
And I'm I, and I'm sitting up here talking about, you know, come get your man. Girl, give him to whoever want him, okay? Give him to him. I did not know that he went. It's one thing to go cheat on somebody because that's an, enough, okay? Somebody, When you got somebody trifling like that, they can bring you back stuff when they're out here running the streets. What's the purpose of getting married in the first place if this is what you want to do? I don't. I never could understand this. Just stay single and mingle, tinkle with whoever you want, and then it's not no cape on your back, okay, y'all? But when you sitting up here, you know, in somebody else's face telling them you love them and all of this stuff and, you know, acting like you so in love with this person, even to the point of asking this person to marry you, and then at the same time you out mingling and tingling raw? Come on now. And you didn't want to get somebody else pregnant? Ain't no coming back from that. That's nasty. That is nasty. Okay, now I know some people that cheat, and but they do be kind of be careful. I still don't give it no pass. But some at least have the decency to protect their wife or something by um, trying to use something. And they still uh, uh, dogs in my book. Okay, but for you to go and doing this and you getting other people pregnant at the same Y'all, make this make sense. Seriously. I see why India don't want to be bothered with him. I say why? Girl, let the streets have him. Because that's where he belongs. Let the streets have him. Okay? Because if you don't, he is he 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 definitely gonna bring you something back. Sooner or later, he's gonna bring you that package, okay? And you don't want that. You got too much going for you. You know, you're young and everything else. Girl, get you something else that's a little bit more stable and not with a lot of drama. You know, somebody brought this to my attention, too. And I didn't even take this in consideration. All the bodies just dropping around little dirt. Everybody, his, his family members, his friends, all of that. That's another thing that's a bad, you know, omen. When you, when you would, you know, it's one thing to have a bad boy. But when you got a bad boy that everybody's dropping sooner or later, you just might be next, okay? So that's not a good look for it either, that you got to be dodging, you know, bullets when you, you know, going on a date or whatever you're doing. Even if you ain't with him, you know, you, people could be following you around. So, yeah, nah, leave that alone, girl. Don't come get your man, okay? I did not know all this extra that was on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let her have him, okay? She bowed his lead, seriously. You know, did you hear what, you know, Ms. Glorilla was saying? And people were saying that, oh, they just promoting a new song and this and that and that and this. But it wasn't about just about her, them promoting a new song. Did you see how she was giggity geeking when she was on the live with him? Like, she got a crush. That's a crush smile, y'all. That's a crush smile, okay? If he let her, she will hit that, okay? So, um, let her have him. She's about on his lead. If he's out here doing what he's doing. He's out here trying to, you know, be in the same footsteps as future them, okay? So if this is the lifestyle that Lil Dirt wants, then let him go, y'all. You can do better. You can definitely do better. You know, that's kind of trifling right there, okay? I do not condone that whatsoever. So I have to do an update really quick on that. But anyway, y'all, um, I got so much other stuff to do. It's been a really busy day for me. So, I am going to be trying to come back on here with some more stuff, okay, y'all? And I still haven't finished my part three and four of Beyonce, okay? So, we got to get back to that, too. Um, another thing that I want to get into is the Rasheem Carter case, okay? Um, I'm kind of late on it. Yes, I am. I, I told y'all, I got my hands is full. It really is. My hands are so full. And I feel bad that it's been this long before I even could do um, this case, but I want to do a video on this case and I have to, and I'm going to do some numbers on it as well to see if anything pops up that may be helpful, to, you know, for the family. Um, because I'm seeing a lot of stuff that's, um, surrounding this case that surrounded another case that, you know, as far as the numbers. So yeah, I want to, um, do that as well. So y'all stay tuned. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video, and thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.